in the farmlands of Alberta, Canada. Pale and wretched animals haunt the area. Something is literally draining the life out of them. It is the winter tick, as full and bloated as its host is starving. It's estimated that ticks can drain a moose calf of half its blood. One dead adult moose was found with over 100,000 engorged ticks latched onto it. The trouble begins in late summer, when ticks the size of grains of sand congregate by the thousands at the optimal height to encounter a moose. Here, they wait. When a moose forages, the CO2 in its breath makes the ticks appear to bloom as they reach and grasp. The hapless moose doesn't even notice as they latch on strings of them. The now grape-sized ticks are taking a last blood meal. Afterwards, the swollen females will drop off to lay their eggs. And the deadly cycle begins again. Infested animals like these are called ghost moose because their pale skin shows through. They rub off their coats in a futile attempt to rid themselves of the parasites. In search of food and shelter, the ghost moose can become a threat to humans. None of us enjoy having to put down these animals, but uh, once they reach this type of body condition and show up in people's yards, it really leaves us no choice. Well, there he is. Now it gets stupid. It's going to go into that lane. Robert Lamont and Lyle Fullerton of the Alberta Fish and Game Service have responded to more moose calls in the past decade than ever before. I think. I think we moved it. I'm going to come through this bush here towards you. Oh, never mind. I see him moving now. At first, they will try to drive the animal back into the wilderness. Yeah, it's walking towards you. Go, Moose. Go, Moose. But even shooting blanks can't send the weak animal packing. The ghost simply slips into some brush. This particular moose is in very, very bad shape, uh, body condition-wise, as well as being a public safety hazard. So we feel in the best interests of the public here that we need to put this animal down. And uh, it's not going to live too much longer, so it's, uh, it's, a, it's a mercy thing as well. Turns out, they won't have to put the animal down after all. I'm not so sure it's alive. Well, sure enough, this moose passed away right in front of us here. I think I saw some males. Oh, look at, look at this. Just crawling. Crawl. Yeah, Ooh. bad. It's probably anemic. That is bad. Yeah. We spent three months taking that coat off, scratching yeah. ticks for three months. Yeah. You know, cold weather, minus 35. Yeah, that's just a terrible way to die. It is. It's bad. Yeah. Ticks have always plagued the moose. But experts think that global warming could be exacerbating the situation. 
The ticks usually fall off the moose in early spring, and most die in the snow. With warmer weather creeping ever northward, the parasites fall on clear ground. More survive to reproduce, and the population multiplies lethally.